Hi, this is Don McAllister and welcome to another weekly tip video. Well, this week I'm going to take a look at some of the changes to Apple Mail in Big Sur. Despite there being plenty of alternative email clients, I still prefer to use Apple Mail on Big Sur and iOS, although I do supplement its usage with some additional utilities, uh, Mail Butler, which we covered on show 683, and Sanebox, which we covered on shows 507 and 508. Perhaps in the near future we'll take a closer look at those utilities and how they've changed since those shows in a future show. But for now, let's take a look at some of the enhanced features of Apple Mail in Big Sur. So I've opened Apple Mail and what you see within the mail application will depend on the size of your window. Now I have this currently set to its narrowest presentation, but if I start to drag this out, you'll see a couple of things happening. One, as I get to a certain point, we get this new sidebar appear and we'll talk more about the sidebar shortly, but also across the top, uh, the toolbar will start to expand to display more icons. You can still access the hidden icons by clicking on this double chevron icon. But as you expand the window, you'll see the icons appear and then we'll get a move panel. And then I can still get to my search options here and to move from here as well. But if I just carry on extending the window, you'll see that we get all the controls displayed in the toolbar. Now, just a word about the display itself. I'm currently in a side preview. Uh, you can, if you want, go to view and show a bottom preview with all your emails across the top and then the preview down at the bottom. Now we can drag the separator so we can see more of the email itself, but to be honest, I much prefer having a side preview. So let's just switch that back. Now, if you prefer something a bit more traditional, there is of course, column view. So click use column layout. Now it's easier to manage your columns. So you can add additional columns. You can right click up here in the column headers. Let's say we want to select priority and that has appeared in the far right hand side. Uh, we can also select, say, date sent again over here, but we can resize the columns and we can also drag and drop to rearrange them. But uh, let's go back to my view, take off column layout and stick with the side preview. Um, another interesting thing, you can see here that it's picked up my uh, photo. I have uh, my email address in my contacts list. If you want to, you can go to view again and say show contact photo and that photo will appear in the list of emails. Let's go ahead and switch that off. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new up to date tutorials each week as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit screencastsonline.com today and become a Screencasts Online member.